line so that they also can okay partake of uh, today's blessing you know i sent uh, on the first uh, on monday when i could not there was no enough power on my phone uh, to do the broadcast i sent one of our messages the one i talked about god will not allow you to be tempted beyond your capacity i sent it online and i saw that it was widely viewed that's why i don't want to joke with the online audience so that they too can partake of the blessing uh, that god has for us today can we have the scripture on screen first kings chapter 19 1 to 4 i think I, I, will, I will i will need to share with us very important scripture and uh, the prayer point must be i want it to be well explained please that sound will affect our recording thank you now if that mic is not functioning i can manage this so we can concentrate just increase my volume a little bit thank you hallelujah thank you uh -huh. i think i love this now look at this first kings chapter 19 you don't have to read with me i want you to just try to understand what is here and ahab told jezebel all that elijah had done and how he had executed all the prophets with the sword Verse 2, then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Verse 3, and when he saw, sorry, and when he saw that, he arose and ran for his life and went to Bethsheba, Bethsheba, which belonged to Judah, and left his servant there. Pay attention. Verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. And came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed that night. And what was his prayer? That he might what? Die. And said, It is enough. What is enough? Now, Lord, take my life. For I am better. Sorry, for I am no better than my father's. Praise the Lord. Our main prayer focus tonight, we are going to deal with forces that makes people to give up at the edge of their of their breakthrough. Yeah. Now, I want us that I will explain. This strange spirit have succeeded to bring a lot of people down. Many years ago, I could remember. Many, many years ago, I'm telling I want I'm talking, talking to you now something about the 80s in those days they used to do one one film on nta Ibadan. they call it akika i don't know whether we have anybody here okay alagba faliti in those days ah, we are that is a film it's like a story the baba will come out yes and tell a story and he said, okay, this story I'm telling you, eh, whoa, you know, see, 
I remember the man told the story about two friends. One was born and he became wealthy on time. The other, they were born the same day, but the other one was struggling and struggling and struggling. And because he was struggling, he got fed up. He pointed a gun to his throat and shot it and pulled the trigger and he died. So when he died in that movie, they were taking him to, you know, and somebody said, let me show you your, what will have been your life. Continue to buy here. As the man was taking him, the man now showed him that, see, you remain about two days to your day of wealth. Ah, he said, please let me go back. He said, it is late. Now, that time I was very young, very young. I was still in, uh, I think I was still in either secondary school. The movie I'm telling you is about 1989. I was in GSS 1. I was looking at in 1989. They have not even thought of you. <laughs> Praise the Lord. You know, I was in GSS 1. And that time I started praying. There is, a, there is a strange spirit, hear me, that makes people give up at the junction of their breakthrough. That spirit will not succeed in your life. Now, look at the point that Elijah got to. I will explain. The ordinary threat of Ahab, I mean of Jezebel, Jezebel said, by this time tomorrow, if your head is still on your neck, call me bastard. That's what she meant to. And Elijah had that and ran. The Bible says he dropped his servant at a particular place and ran for his life. He got under a broom tree and started telling the Lord, Lord, I am tired. I am no longer doing ministry again. I don't want to be a prophet again. I'm tired. I've had enough. Lord, I want to die. Let's look at some of the exploits that I think should make Elijah not, not to have made that decision. I wrote some examples here. Let me take my notes. Like I said, our focus will be mainly on the spirit of error. Error. Why will a prophet Elijah give up at the at at at, at at, at, the, at this point of his ministry because of the threat of Jezebel the queen now look at this Elijah was a man who successfully hear me who successfully declared that the heavens be closed there will not be rain in the land except by my word now look at such a man and the Bible says there was not a drop of rain heaven closed because one man said, by my word, the heavens are closed. There will not be rain on the land except by my word. And the Bible says, for three years and six months, beloved, not one rain dropped. Now, I believe that somebody like Elijah has a good, uh, 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 in the natural, we call it good CV to treat the threat of Jezebel as nothing. Amen. You know, he didn't think that way. I looked at it again. He was a man in his lifetime, hear me, who was miraculously fed by birds. In fact, the Bible calls it the raven bird. Animal scientists used to say that raven bird, AAD, is a bird that is very, very stingy. Yet, by divine command, this bird will travel to go and get meat for Elijah every day. Now, if not that the brook where he was drinking water from dried up, Elijah wouldn't have stopped eating from the hands of the birds. Now, that was the level he has reached in ministry. Now, look at another one. A man who by his command, hear me, by his command, the widow of Zarephath's oil pot and flower uh, pot kept producing can you imagine you are at the rate that rice is in nigeria now for me to just declare that your rice bag will never be empty 
and your your not oil uh, container will always be full and every day you are eating you know rice is every day everybody's food in nigeria every day you are eating from the pot eating from that bag and still the thing refused to now that was the level of miracle that elijah experienced or performed in his ministry he didn't stop there he didn't stop there in his lifetime hear me he was a man that commanded fire to fall from the sky he told them he said we are going to make sacrifice me and the prophets of baal in competition anyone that can call fire from heaven his god is a real god and elijah lifted up his voice and said i command fire to fall fire fell without matches now that is not an ordinary man he didn't stop there elijah went to the point and the bible says after that miracle he said arrest this man and 450 prophets of baal we gathered together he organized that they should be slaughtered because they couldn't produce any miracle now that was still that same man that one woman's threat made him to say i'm going to quit ministry look at his cv in his lifetime he told the king he said you know what they have not been rain for three and a half years i the king said yes he said go and get your house ready be going to the palace there's going to be rain the bible says he went to kneel down on the mountain where he was praying he prayed seven sessions of prayer and by the time he came out he said go and tell him if he does not run fast the rain will meet him and the bible said there was flood of rain go to stop Sibe. this man the bible says the hand of the lord came upon him and what did he do beloved he ran and was able to outrun the horses of the king now under the power of god my question should now be what would have made this kind of man to now decide to say i quit and quit ministry i believe it's, it should be somebody who has not gone far hello you didn't hear me i believe it's somebody who have not gone far it's just like if somebody is coming to tell somebody like me now that Jesus is not real, there's nothing like the power of God. I do I used to tell them that it's not because I read it in the Bible, I have seen proofs. He has raised the dead through my hands before. I've prayed for a dead person, and the person came back to life. I was telling one Jehovah Witness woman. The man said they used to teach them in Jehovah Witness uh, uh, Hall, Kingdom Hall, that miracle ended with the disciples. I said, Madam, when it was a miracle, when it was in Cotton, get miracle. Miracle to Paripella, my apostoli, Muni, Madam, a woman. O cook, cook, la du boa, Igbatan de Pimimo, Badua, O Padaji, Unisa, and the shock, which is upon Daku. You know, for you to look at the error they have taught, and the shock, which is upon Daku, Mulu, Kunise, confirm Kuni. You know what she said? Say, ha. Now, what would have made Elijah to now decide to say, I want to give up? That's why today, like I said, our focus in prayer, they are, we are going to pray against that, that demonic spirit that makes people to decide to give up at the edge, junction of their success. I wrote something here. Beloved, having done all this, how come he became easily discouraged to the point that he even prepared to both quit ministry and life at the same time. Olorun mi o se mo. Olorun mo fe ku. What kind of level of discouragement happened to Elijah? Iyen ni mo fe kero. Praise the Lord. I wrote here something went wrong. It could be a spell or an attack. Many years ago, I mean many months ago, I was listening to one great man of God in Ghana. His name is Bishop, Archbishop Duncan Williams. He said, he said he was preaching, preaching to the church. He said, do you know that they invited him to preach in a church in uh, America? And when he got there, they want to dedicate the church. Who, who was the pastor of the church? It was Bishop uh, T.D. Jakes. The president of America was in that meeting. Now, Archbishop Duncan Williams said he finished preaching in the meeting. He dedicated, thank you, the church auditorium opened and they took him to his hotel. Look up, everybody. 
as he got to his hotel room around nine it's like something just tapped him williams duncan stand up go to the window he said he went to the window he discovered that his hotel room was the 24th floor can i 24 you know mary le logo abi yes room 24 floor mary le logo floor lower who let me hear this of home pay boom she she window and come for he said it's not that somebody told me i had it and the thing was saying jump out and die jump out and die jump he said he got out he got to this edge of the window he wanted to jump he said he just had a knock on the door co -co 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 -co. what happened they said your host said we should bring you to the church he said can you imagine at that at that point something was telling him to commit suicide nothing got now in america do you know that that was the same thing that happened to king david in first chronicles let's go there first chronicles chapter 21 from verse 1 to verse 4 first chronicles chapter 21 from verse 1 to verse 4 I read he said now satan stood up against israel now there's one version that I use steered up david please look for either niv good news nlt look for it for me and please paste it he said now satan stood up against israel and moved david okay let's look at this satan rose up against israel what, what version is this niv satan rose up against israel mm, look at this and what incited oru is okay incited david to take a censor of israel from within and i could remember this was what mommy adela shared with us in one prayer meeting many years ago she said she would just be in the house something would just say to her stand up now pack your things leave your husband's house she said she would just begin to gather her things she will begin to pack. She will call Thexi. She will pack into Thexi. She will get to Mobi. He said, another voice will ask her, is this how it will end? She will now come back to, her, to herself. She will pack back home. She told us, I won't forget. She said, pastors, this thing happened to me nine times. Now let's finish that script. Let's, let's read. He said what? Incited David to take a census of Israel. Verse 2. We stop at verse 4. Verse 2. Verse 2. So David said to Joab and the commanders of the troops, Go and count the Israelites from Bathsheba to Dan. Then report back to me so that I may know how many there are. How many there are. Verse 3. But Joab replied, May the Lord, may the Lord multiply his troops a hundred times over. My Lord, the king, are they not all my Lord's subjects? Why does my Lord want to do this thing? Why should he bring guilt on Israel? Because it was against their law that they, they counted. Verse 4. Verse 4. But because it was a spell, the king's word, however, overruled Joab. So Joab left and went through Israel and then came back to Jerusalem. Let's read through. I want to show you God's uh, uh, action to it. Joab reported the number of the fighting men to David. In all Israel, there were 1 million 100,000 men who could undo a sword, including 470,000 in Judah? Move on. But Joab did not include Levi, Levi and Benjamin in the numbering because the king's command was repulsive to him. He knew that it was wrong. Move on. This command was also evil. Where? I didn't hear you. In the sight of God. So he what? He 
punished Israel for it. But look at how the devil came. He came to steer David up. That's why I said, our prayer focus today is going to be the Lord deliver me. It will be our main focus. From every force that makes me to give up or to want to quit at the junction of my success. junction. Remember that case in the Bible of that king when prophet Elisha was about to die. Elisha said to him, take an arrow. Put the arrow. He said, Sh open the window. He said, the man opened the window. He said, shoot it out. He shot it out. He said, that's your victory over Syria. He said, take another arrow. He said, took it. He said, struck it to the ground. The man struck the first, struck the second, struck the third and stopped. He said, why did you stop? He said, if you had not stopped, you would have conquered your enemies forever. But now you only conquer three times. Strange spirits. Now, it, it is the job of the spirit that makes people to just feel, haven't you seen people that will do program? They run program, university program, paid so much. And maybe like one year more to go, they just feel fed up. I have seen married men at the junction. They've gotten to a point in their marital life. They just feel fed up. Today, I declare that the operations of those strange spirits in your affairs be destroyed in Jesus' name. So Elijah can give up. I believe it was not ordinary. I wrote here, beloved. It is the plan of the devil for you as children of God that you make careless decisions at certain points. To make careless decisions at certain points. Careless choices at certain points. Ah, look at Now, that's the, the traps of the enemy. To make careless, simple but careless decisions. A person, a person, what, what, he won't know why he's doing what he chose that decision. This is why you need to be prayerful and careful as a child of God. I wrote here, I don't think what happened to Elijah was ordinary. Because if you look at all the way the power of God was displayed in his life and ministry, he could have also, he could have spoken just one word against Jezebel now, Abi. And it was a or no tea, turn on that tea. See Jezebel, why not? See Uriah, why not? 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 Why Praise the Lord. So tonight, I brought you for us to pray. Every good thing that your hand has started, shout aloud, my hands will complete it. I didn't hear you. Say every good thing my hands have started, my hands will complete. Say it aloud. Every good thing that my hands started, my hands will complete in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they at the hands of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation of this house. His hands will complete it. So let's look at these seven prayer points one after the other. Look, listen to this first one. The first one says, All you strange voices speaking lies to my heart, die now. Now, what are the job of these strange voices? Do you know that these demonic voices are the ones behind the Things you are some people will be hearing, eh, you are useless, you are useless, nobody likes you, you are not loved. Listen, is that the best place for you is to die? Die, die. Strange voices. Elijah had voices. People hear voices in their minds. I was listening to one uh, uh, on my wife's phone. They took themselves, there is a couple. The woman went to one radio station. So I will not be advertising for them. And said, people should donate money. The husband said, I suspect that my wife is dating some people. He now woke he was his wife up in the middle of the night, took cutlass and started macheting her. The woman collapsed. The man looked at the woman, thought the woman was dead. He picked sniper, drank it, and died. 
as she was collapsing, the woman woke up. But he was dead, gone. Oh, can look ball. Now look at the rate at which people are taking snipers now. That's why I curse every demonic voice speaking lies to your mind. Do you know that these voices can come to the point of telling you to disassociate from the people that God will use for your rising? Rise up on your feet. Rise up on your feet. I want you to take the issue of these vo strange voices, demonic voices, take it serious. You say after me, all you, all you strange voices, I didn't hear you. You can do better. Speaking lies to my mind. Die now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy their death. In the name of Jesus. My father, my God, I declare every strange voice speaking lies to my mind. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Begin to die. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to curse all such voices right now. Command their death to take place now. Die now in the name of Jesus. All you strange voices speaking lies to my mind. I declare in the name of Jesus. Die. Are you praying right now? Are you praying right now? Begin to declare every strange voice speaking lies to my mind. I command you to die now by fire in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying? I can't hear you pray in the name of Jesus. I said die in the name of Jesus. I said die in the name of Jesus. I said die in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. See after me. I will not give up at the point of my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, I receive strength to break through. I will not give up at the point of my breakthrough. I receive strength to break through in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of Jesus. My Father, my God, I begin to pray for myself. Lord, I receive strength to break through. I will not give up at the point of my breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare. I will not give up at the point of my breakthrough. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. I receive grace to push through. I receive grace to push through. I receive grace to push through. In the name of Jesus. Are you Praying for yourself, ringa da base, shaga da basa ta yanga da ba, reke de base. Begin to pray for yourself in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to push through. In the I will break through, oh God. I will not give up at the point of my success. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed and amen. Now look at the next one. Say I rebuke. I didn't hear you. I rebuke the oppression. Of the strange spirit of depression anger and confusion sent to make me give up at the junction of my greatness now look up before we pray let me explain now the spirit of depression is a terrible spirit now this one is a higher level of discouragement where you get is when it not you when a person gets to a point that he no longer has anything pushing him from within again that's the spirit of depression the devil uses it most times to make people give up at the junction of their breakthrough they are depressed it's a strange spirit where the person no longer has anything that wants to make him to stand up in the morning he has no feeling to run again if you tell him, let's well, the earth is there. Like, and how do you know depressed people? They're always talking about death. Kiloku. Kilo alayon. Kilo alayon. 
Who told you that because I don't lie? Oh, John B. Toti Dan. I see you already give you a shell and touch you already give you a shell. I'm okay. I don't lie. If you see me, I say, Kikilo and I, you know, because you remember, it's a lie. It's a form of depression. Now, the second thing the devil uses at times, he uses anger. You know, do you know, people, people at times, at the point of their breakthrough, they just get angry unnecessarily. That was what happened to Moses. He had fasted 40 days. God used his hand to write the Ten Commandments. Put it on two tablets. Moses was coming. He got angry and broke it off. And God said, you will come back. But this time, he called him out and call, you will be the one to write it. You will call Jesus and if he be no bank, and see your own she, but he pass your way, she go. May you not use your hand in anger to destroy what God is building. That's why one of the greatest virtue needed for success is patience. Now, and what's the third one? Speed of confusion. Now, when a person is confused, he doesn't know whether to turn to the right or turn to the left. At times, <laughs> well, they just give up. But I told you on Sunday, if you truly know God, you will not be confused. Even when you are going through the valley of the shadow of the death, his presence around you will give you assurance. I want us to pray. Say, I rebuke the oppression of the strange spirit of depression of anger and confusion sent to make me give up at the junction of my greatness open your mouth and turn into prayer so I begin to pray begin to rebuke their oppression Lord I rebuke the oppressions of the spirit of depression the spirit of anger the spirit of confusion sent to, to, to make me give up at the junction of my greatness ah Lord I rebuke them in the name of Jesus I will not give up at the junction of my breakthrough, oh God, I will not be depressed to give up in the name of Jesus. Lord, I will not be angry to give up in the name. Lord, the spirit of anger will not succeed to make me give up in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be confused. I refuse to be confused. Legada basene, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Ragada basata yanga dabash. Legede basanta yanga. I refuse to be confused to God. I will not be confused. I will not be confused. I will not give up. I will get to my realm of success. I will get to the breakthrough that I desire. Lord, I will reach my goal in the name of Jesus. Are you praying for yourself? Regada basanta yanga daba. Rekuri adabas. Basata yagadaba, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to tell the Lord. Basata yagadaba skinny, shagada basi, ringu yadaba, basata yagadaba skinny. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. Say after me, take this one. Say, I will not be manipulated into error. You know what they call manipulation? It's gimmicks. People at times are manipulated into error. Some even naturally, some are not natural, some are spiritual. The natural ones, they can play a person into error. But you are going to pray for yourself. Say after me. I will not, sorry, I will not be manipulated. I didn't hear you. I will not be manipulated into error in the name of Jesus. That's why every manipulation against me to make me commit blunder. Come on. I cancel you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Begin to cancel every form of manipulation against you to make you commit blunder. Lord, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. King of kings, I cancel it. I shall not be manipulated into error in the name of Jesus. By Yagadabas, are you praying for yourself? I shall not be manipulated to commit blunder in the name of Jesus. I shall not be manipulated to commit error, to make mistakes in the name of Jesus. By Yagadaba say, Lord, I will not be manipulated to commit error in the name of every plan of darkness to manipulate me into error. Fail in the name of Jesus. I say fail in the name of Jesus. By Yagadaba say, command it to fail. Command it to fail in the name of Jesus. Rekadaba sata yangadaba. Rekadaba sata ya. Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself? Are you praying for yourself in the name of Jesus? Basata Yagada Base. Shagada Base. Lord, I will not be manipulated. Lord, to commit blunder, oh God. In the name of Are you praying for yourself? Pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed and amen. You know, I love this next one. It says, I will not lose my place of honor 
for anyone. Beloved, Elijah never knew. He never even dreamt it. That we get to a point in his life. He that was threatening God. I want to die. I want to die. I am, I've had enough. He didn't know that there was somebody somewhere. That he will just touch with the mantle. The person will say. I give everything I have. I will follow. Ah. Elijah himself said. What did I do to you? Lord, I will not lose my place of honor for somebody else to take over, oh God. In the name of Jesus, shall we begin to pray? Begin to pray for yourself. In the name of Jesus, I will not lose my place of honor, oh God, for somebody else to take over. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for yourself. I will not lose my place of honor, oh God, for somebody else to take over. In the name of Jesus, beloved Elisha, are waiting. You are going to pray. I will finish my assignment. Oh, I will not leave it halfway. In the name of Jesus, I will not leave it halfway. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray for yourself. Death will not stop me from fulfilling my purpose. In the name of Jesus, sickness will not stop me from fulfilling my purpose. In the name of Jesus, the wicked will not stop me from fulfilling my purpose. In the name of Jesus, my place of honor shall not be given to somebody else. My place of honor shall not be given to somebody else. In the name of Jesus, Ragadaba, begin to pray for yourself. Lord, the place of honor you are prepared for me shall not be given to somebody else, oh God. I will not lose my place. 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 Reke de baskende le bosh. Rakayara baskende. Basaka yara maskende. Shangada bara. Rakada basanda yara. Reke de baskende le bosh. Are you praying? 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 In the name of Jesus, I will fulfill my yes. I will finish my curse. I will finish my my assignment. In the name of Jesus, I will not give up along the line, oh God. Begin to pray for yourself. I will not give up along the line, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Open your eyes. I love this one. You will say, I call for a full restoration here of every good thing I carelessly use the words of my mouth to throw away. Elijah said, It's enough. I've had enough. I want to die. When he now touched Elisha, Elisha said, Permit me to go and kiss my father and mother and follow you. So what have I done to you? Go back. But it was late. Do you know that some people used the words of their mouth to throw away valuable things in their life? Be careful when you are angry. Some of you, because you are angry with a friend, some of you just open your mouth and say, To buy me what if it is you, you, you that will make me to succeed, keep your success. And after the thing I've said to you, you have forgotten what you said. You stand your friendship again. It's gone. I always tell husband and wife, when you are having misunderstanding, watch what you say. I regret marrying you. In fact, in fact, in fact, me, me and you, I don't think we can last. You use, the words of your mouth are powerful. You are going to pray for restoration. Every good thing you have used your, the word of your mouth to throw away. Do you know that some of you can use the words of your mouth to throw away some customers in your business? See, everybody in your business cannot be the same. We have some people that will come to patronize you that will not price. Ah, hello, Mr. Bolu, hello, let's say, 50,000. Oh, yeah, for me, name Are you assured? You have some that will come and say, I'm Mr. Bolu, hello, let's say, 50,000. She could buy 48 me. Oh, yeah, moon 49.50. At you know, okay? And you are not cooked, Abby. You see, have some that will come and say, Ah, you say, I'm Mr. Bolu, hello, let's say, the money 50,000. We buy 20 me. 
Awon to bi je ke won fe le mu ibu jade lenu yin. But gbogbo won lo Olorun ran si e. Do you know why? Listen. Ko si bi business e se da to ti o ba se ro nbe. Ile ise yen ko le de ohun. No matter how good a business is, if you don't have crowd, you cannot be a voice in the society. I know what makes up crowd, different kinds of people. But every time you are saying, in fact, in fact, I won't, I won't, you know, I'm a customer, but me will tell you, me tell you, you are throwing them away, but God is bringing them as part of crowd, using the other ones to compensate for the way they price. Are you getting what I'm saying? You didn't hear me. So stop using your mouth to throw people away. Say after me. I call for a full restoration of every good thing I carelessly use the words of my mouth to throw away. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray for full restoration right now. Every good thing I use the words of my mouth to carelessly throw away. Father, I begin to call them back. Lord, I call for a full restoration of all those good things. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Are you praying? Pray for yourself. Every good thing I carelessly, by the words of my mouth, threw away, Lord, I begin to call them back. I begin to call them back. I begin to call them back. I begin to call for full restoration. Help me, Lord. Let there be a full restoration of every good thing that I use careless words to throw away, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Elijah said, I am tired, I want to die. And beloved, he got dead. He said, I'm, I've had enough, I don't want ministry again. And God raised somebody else. Begin to tell the Lord, Father, please help me. I've been careless with my words. I've spoken the things that I need not to speak. I have thrown some people away. I have thrown some good things away. Father, Lord, I ask, by the power of your mercy, let there be a restoration. Begin to pray. By the power of your mercy, let there be a restoration. By the power of your mercy, Lord, let there be a restoration. By the power of your mercy, Lord, let there be a restoration. But the sneak way for restoration. Oluwa tari jimi, ani bokbo, bokbo ro di Timothy Fison kanre nu. Oluwa tari jimi, Lord, call Jesus. Oluwa jaki ah, let me receive them back. Begin to pray for full restoration right now. In the name of Jesus, le gada basa. Are you praying? Are you praying? Ragada basa ndele maskene. Shagada basa ta yanga da ba debos. Ringo dia da ba. Ragada basa kare maskene debos. Le gede basa ta yanga da ba da bas. Ragada basa ndele bos. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Balaga da basken de lebos, shaga da basanga yara basken de, reke de basken de le basken de, raka yara basaka yara basken de. Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. And amen. I put it like this again. You say, Oh God, deliver me from the careless words that the wicked is using against me. Now look up. Do you know that there's what we call spiritual court? That's how life is. I want to do to buy daddy let no wasa tani man be done in by lossy what you eat there tell go take it to the prince of god to say his mouth said it imagine you are saying as long as you are in that place you can never have peace now when you now say to you are there the devil is saying he can't have peace he has said it that as long as he's still in that company he cannot have peace please watch what you say so, but we are going to stand on the power of the intercession of Christ. It's, it's right there at the right hand of God. So that every negative word that the enemy is using against you, say after me, Oh God, deliver me from the careless words that the wicked is using against me in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare. I declare in the name of Jesus, Father, deliver me from the careless words that the wicked is using against me to hold me down, to attack me, in the name of Jesus, every careless word that the wicked is using. Le Gadaba say, Father, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Oh God, deliver me. Re Gadaba say, Kele Maskene. Shagadaba. Raka Yaraba Sene. Le Gedeba Sanda Yara. Raka Yaraba Skene Lebos. Raka Yaraba Sene. Basata Yanga Daba Skene Lebos. Raka Yaraba Rabas. Shagadaba Skene Lebos. Ringe Dege Begin to declare. Raka Yaraba Skene Lebos. Ranka yarabas, 
Basata yanga da baskine, leguria da basene lebos, ragada ba. Are you praying for yourself? 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I want us to take one more prayer because of my time. Please get the communion ready. The one point of prayer they ask Elijah, Elisha, Elijah ask Elisha. What do you want me to do for you before I'm gone? I love Elijah. Elijah. Elijah said, Sir, I want a double portion of your spirit. Look at his confession. What did he get eventually? He got his confession. Double. You are going to declare. What do you want? You say, Lord, I ask for double blessing double peace double in my health double in my business double in every aspect of good thing are you said lift up your voice and begin to pray for the double right now begin to declare the double in the name of jesus lord i ask for double double in ministry oh god double honor in ministry oh god double honor oh god in my family life double honor in my financial life double honor in my material life double honor in every aspect of good thing begin to ask for double right now begin to pray 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 in the name of jesus double oh god double oh god double oh god i ask for in the name of jesus double oh god 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 in the name of jesus ricada basata yanga da boss thank you father take all the glory lord in jesus precious name we have prayed and amen father thank you for answer to prayers take all the glory may we not be manipulated into errors thank you father in jesus name now sit down let me tell you this before we take the communion now from the life of El, um, uh, david we read in that first chronicles 21 from verse 1 i saw the danger in not having a mentor you know when joab said to david Ogamisa, let's not count the people this is an abomination to god the Bible says the king's word prevailed. If there was somebody Joab could quickly go and report David to, that would have called him to, to, to order. He would have done that. David would have been saved from that error. See, the manipulation of the enemy, we find it easy to, to operate in the life of those who don't have people that can caution them. Not even only your mentors. Position yourself in such a way that people around you can make contribution. Are you hearing me? Even your children, let them talk. I've taught you before that they talk does not mean you can accept everything. But put yourself in such a way that you can be talked to. Because see, if you are angry, if you are confused, if you are depressed, if you are overjoyed, there are tendencies that you can make wrong choices. So when you notice any of these things in your life and people around you are trying to calm you, calm down. Most times, the major mistakes we make, we make them because we don't listen to control. Shem, okay, the same thing. If someone like Prophet Elijah had somebody that could call him, ah, ah, wuli, e abuha le mani, e wa fe le jeren, shem, etik bagbe, pe yin le ti ni, no, 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 it's too small. May you not give up at the junction of your success. Please learn. Guide your lives and choices with the people around you. The Lord will give you deeper understanding and deeper revelations in Jesus' name. And I pray in the name of Jesus, the voice, strange voice of the enemy will not prevail in your hearts. 
in the name of Jesus. Please, where is the decay? 